Welcome back to my channel guys. Today I'm going to be doing my everyday makeup routine for you guys. Now I don't know too much about makeup. I just kind of like look at Instagram and wing it but I think it turns out pretty good. So I'm just going to show you guys what I do because I do get questions on it. Maybe I get questions on it because A it's either good or B it's bad. But you comment down in the comments and let me know. Okay, so first what I do is I use this Revolution Pro Blur Stick Bright. I got it at Target. Everything in this little pile, what I do every morning, is from Target. It's not too expensive, honestly. I think this is like 8 or 10 bucks. It makes sure she's good and rubbed in, right? Okay. We're going to go into the foundation. And I use the L'Oreal True Match Nude. And it's... 4 to 5, so that is the shade, 4 to 5, medium. In the summertime, I'm usually pretty tan because I'm always out at the pool or I go on trips a lot. So, like, I'm usually pretty tan and I feel like it matches my face and, like, my, the, you know, like, the tan on my arms and my body pretty good because I feel like my face doesn't tan as much because I am wearing makeup, but the rest of my body is, like, darker. I wet the beauty blender. I just kind of dry it off. I can't tell you how many towels I have stained with foundation, but it's fine. First, we just put that all over, and we just kind of do something like that. We go around. So, just kind of put it all over your face, and it blends in usually pretty good. And then I do a little down my neck, a little on the nose. Okay, so now we're going to blend it in. And if it gets on your lips, that's totally fine. I feel like I always get foundation on my lips. And I just usually take it off with like a Q-tip. I keep a bag of Q-tips because when I'm putting on mascara, that mascara is like all over the place. It's on my nose, it's on my eyelids, it's everywhere. Honestly, it's looking pretty good. Now that we have the foundation done, I do a little bit of concealer. This is the L'Oreal and Infallible up to 24 hour wear. Okay, so like I said, just go in with the concealer, blend it. I try to keep blending it until I feel like it's kind of like died down a little bit because it was so bright. I do this Revolution Translucent Baking Powder. Now I do not know what this does really. I've just seen other girls on TikTok do it and I was like, I want to do it. Like I said, I don't know exactly what this does, but I basically do this. I go down, go under my eye, and same right there. So that's what I look like whenever I'm doing my makeup. Sometimes Brayden will just walk in and look at me, and I'm like, what? So now I just blend this in. We just blend in. We just pat, 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 pat. Sometimes I'll do it like down here and down here. Sometimes I don't do it, but I think today we're gonna do it. We're gonna go a little crazy, okay? Just like that. Yeah, just like that. And then blend it in. So now we are going in with the bronzer. I love bronzer because it makes you look tan. I just do a little under my chin and I do some on my forehead. But this is basically like what I go for. Also what I do is I just kind of go down my neck with it just to kind of blend it more. Now we're just gonna work on blending out the bronzer. Okay. So I would say that's pretty blended. I think it looks kind of good. The blush, this is the Revolution Super Dewy Liquid Blush. So I was looking for a liquid blush for the longest time and this one is honestly so good. But I just kind of do like a few dots. I do some going on my nose and over to kind of make it look like I was kissed by the sun, you know? I just take this end and I just kind of, you know, it looks a little crazy when you're first blending it, but then, you know, once you get it all blended out, I think it looks pretty good. Don't mind my crusty lips. I literally put on chapstick every day and it like is still crusty. But do you see that? Now we are getting some color in our lips. Look at that foundation, ew. Okay. Now that the foundation is off, I usually have two go-tos that I use. So this one I've done for the longest. It is the Remiel London Stay Matte Lip Color. One is the ELF Lip Plumping Gloss. 
and it's glossy and it, I think it pl plumps your lips like it says it in the description my lips kind of felt like a little stingy numbing and not like it hurts but like I think it was plumping them so this has been like my go-to fave the only thing is that I've noticed is if you're like eating or you're taking a drink obviously it comes off pretty quickly but you can just reapply it and it's like it's glossy we love it so if I'm not using this glossy elf one I'll do this one sometimes and then if I want to add gloss I'll just use the elf lip lacquer and as you can tell it's like kind of pinkish that's because I already have used it with the matte but um yeah it just kind of makes it look glossy and then now we're gonna go into eyeliner so this is what I use I just use white eyeliner because I feel like it makes blue eyes pop like so much I used to use black eyeliner most of my life I found white eyeliner honestly when I was watching euphoria and I was like you know what I should do white eyeliner and so that's just kind of what I do now it's like very subtle because the black is so dark around my eyes so for a while I stopped wearing eyeliner and then I found the white eyeliner and I was like this is it this is my go-to so I wear white eyeliner I feel like it makes my eyes pop more that is what I use and then now going on to the brows, I use the Revolution Soap Styler Stick. So I don't fill in my eyebrows because I honestly don't really know how and I honestly don't really keep up with my eyebrows. Like as you can tell, they probably need to be done, but I've just never been like the kind of girl that keeps up with her eyebrows, honestly, like most girls do. Yeah, so I just use this, I brush them out, and then this is like the soap part. You can see the foundation that's kind of on there. And I just, I think it helps like stick them together because a while ago I used to use Aquaphor on my eyebrows to make them stick in place. And it honestly just felt so weird, but this feels so much better. So after I did the soap part or whatever, I just go back and I brush them out just like that we're gonna go on to mascara but usually before i do mascara i set my face i think you're supposed to do it after but i just do it before just in case like i get mascara on my face and have to wipe it off it is the revolution super dewy dewy fix fixing spray so this is what it looks like everything is mainly from revolution so shout out to revolution because i really like their products so i just kind of Okay, so now it is time to go in for the mascara, and I've used this mascara my entire life. I'm sure a lot of you know what it is, but this is the mascara that I've just found that like works for me. It is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. I absolutely love this mascara. What I do is I do my tops. Oh, this might be interesting doing it in the camera because I've never done it before, but like look at that already. It's already pushing those eyelashes up. If you ask me, the most important part of my makeup routine, would I would have to say are my eyelashes because I need to have huge volumized eyelashes. It doesn't look like I have eyelashes natural, but with this mascara, it just really brings them out. So yeah, that is like what I do for my top lashes. Oh, and my bottoms, obby. This eye, I honestly can't do as good for some reason. Wow, I blink a lot when I do this. So that's what they look like. Super long, like super long. It doesn't even look like I had eyelashes to begin with. So now we do the bottom, and I used to make the bottom super long, but I've noticed lately, I think the trend is having like long top lashes and just having like a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes, but not like making them super big. I think this is pretty much the look. I would just kind of go through and then fix it. And then usually what I do next is I just do my hair. I just kind of straighten it. But this is my everyday makeup routine. Just love this lip gloss. Like, so cute. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down some video ideas you guys want to see. Also, go follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!